Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Ethereum has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and Stochastic RSI are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Ethereum hourly time frame, the price moved only slightly to the downside with around 0.9% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1706. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 1704 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 1707 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. Moving to the hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 16.99. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the support should be considered. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the price crossed the 20 SMA upwards decisively with higher than average volume, which is a strong signal. The current price is between the 20 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 1699 it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 1746 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. For longer price development, the daily time frame should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Looking at the three hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the three hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 1683. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 1721. Jumping to the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is below the daily ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 1781. The resistance should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and the change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, 
Keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. I'm, I'm.